And Robert Gucci is a senior lecturer at Lancaster University. He is also the editor of an upcoming book on media and democracy during the Trump presidency. And he joins me now live. Uh, thank you for joining us on the program. Do you think the Democrats have made their case against the president as some witnesses refused to testify and the White House refused to turn over some documents? Well, you know, this isn't to diminish the seriousness of, of, of this case and what has been presented before uh, the people, but uh, it depends on, on who you ask. Uh, certainly the, the average American, uh, we know, is not uh, very good at uh, simple geography and, and maybe doesn't even understand uh, the, the trials uh, within Ukraine, the issues that have been going on in that part of the world, uh, enough to appreciate uh, what uh, what was being withheld and, and why the United States was was involved there. So for for them, you know, they're they're listening through all of this uh, legal jargon that's being uh, you know spoken very carefully by by politicians um, and trying to decipher what actually Donald Trump might have done wrong. On the other hand, you have. Uh, those who keep up with politics, uh, who who have taken very strong positions that this didn't uh, this didn't meet any standards for impeachment, or certainly uh, it did. So it, it it the states are really separated between those two classes and groups of people: those who are able and willing and and interested in being engaged in their politics, and those. Uh, quite frankly, you know, either they're working three jobs and do the best they can, uh, or just have no no interest uh, uh, at all. And unfortunately, that's what allows corruption, if there was in this case, to to happen. Mm -hmm. Impeaching a U.S. president is a very serious thing. It's not to be taken lightly. Um, can you explain to us the gravity of the situation here and what it means to impeach an American president? Well, you know, this is uh, the, the the third time something like this is really going to be uh, happening. A fourth time, actually, in the in, in the states, uh, it, it is something that really people on both sides of the of the line don't want to have to do. Um, despite those who are who are uh, crying, you know, rally crying to to impeach Donald Trump, you don't want to see the person who is uh, supposed to uphold the the dignity of, of the country, have uh, relationships across the globe, and help people uh, survive and prosper, uh, be under such a microscope and under such scrutiny. And, and certainly Donald Trump already has uh, members of, of his former uh, cohort uh, in jail or facing more uh, uh, jail time. Uh, so he's already tarnished for some people kind of that, that that office for, for now. And what, what's going to happen here is if he's reelected, and I think it's quite likely that that will happen even under these circumstances, uh, as it will be hard for the Senate to actually vote to remove him from office, what will the next four years of a Trump presidency look like after the first impeachment? Could there be a second? Uh, is he doing more things that they're going to find in these investigations? So we're, we're moving into unprecedented territory here that uh, if, if he continues on in these types of ways and openly uh, discussing things that might be uh, wrongful duties on, on his part, what does the second term look like? And, and how does the country uh, recover from that? Right. Um, as you said, this is only the fourth time in America's 243 year history that an American president has faced impeachment. An American president has only been impeached twice before. Uh, a full House vote is expected next week, and assuming the House votes to impeach. Uh, President Trump, which does seem very likely. Where does this put Trump in history? Well, he's made his own history at this point, and, and Donald Trump will stand and say that he makes his own history and he makes his own future, but certainly he has made his own history uh, already. Uh, it will be um, hard, I think, for Americans to see the Senate in such a more somber state than the House, uh, how, how the House handles its impeachment processes. Uh, it's going to be much more formal. It's going to be much more somber. There's not going to be yelling back and forth. It's going to be, I guess, uh, more serious in terms of its optics. Uh, and so we're not going to be looking for, for, for bombshells and, and all this sort of thing necessarily. We're going to be looking at the case has been presented. What do we do next? And I think for many Americans, it's going to take this up a notch in terms of how serious uh, this really is. And, and if this happens in the beginning of, of next year, which it looks like uh, we're headed in that direction, it will be um, a, a come to Jesus of sorts for some people in, in the states to say, well, 
did this person actually do something wrong and what's going on with our democracy? It might actually engage more people, unfortunately, into the political process. It's uh, too bad it takes this sort of thing to, to get people's attention. Yeah, I missed when politics was boring. Robert Gucci, thank you so much for joining us today.